Hi, my name is Nick Annette Miller. I'm a teaching artist, designer, and a printmaker. I predominantly use woodcut printmaking and turn them into sculptural prints and create installations, sometimes video work, and try to create environmental scapes for these animals to tell their narratives. And I'm the featured artist at 108 Contemporary. Like my whole life I've been raised in a very visual landscape and so art has been something that I didn't know was art to begin with. By the time I was in high school and I started doing dark groom photography is when I started connecting to why I liked drawing so much. But it became one of my first mediums into creativity. But I definitely had imposter syndrome. It was hard for me to call myself an artist, not really understanding why until it's been about 15 years, honestly, since I've been doing this kind of work. And really recently, I've been able to look back on all that work and kind of be kind of amazed by my younger self pushing through all of that and kind of making this work that I didn't really understand why I wanted it to be installation, why I wanted to make a bunch of pieces, why did I want to make a, a stop motion video. Um, but now it's kind of forming together more and more because they're all informing each other. Um, and informing me and so I think once I started realizing that I can't help but make art um, and that I want other people to also say that they're an artist because I see that in others I kind of realized I needed to kind of own that with myself and that kind of helped me take on my practice a little bit more seriously and learn more about what is this that I'm tapping into for myself. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's so important, I, I think, for everyone to realize they have a little artist inside of them because that's expression. It's self-expression. It doesn't have to look like art, but I think there's an outlet that people could tap into to express, because you can express yourself through going on runs and be, it being very physical. Um, it could be through a conversation with somebody. Um, like it's also a craft to communicate. Having that opportunity to kind of learn more about yourself and why you're maybe spending so much time doing something that brings you joy or curiosity um, is kind of a good moment to reflect on. This is an opportunity for me to share this expression that this feels so abstract. Yeah, I traveled this summer to Asia and had the opportunity to visit my mother's home country in Vietnam. And while I was there, I learned about a paper mill called the Za Project, which is based in the northern part of the country where they make ye ya, a type of handmade paper. And that paper is made from the inner bark of a gai ye, which is a tree only grown in that region. I had to bring some back and I had no idea what I was going to do with it when I bought it. I just knew it was important. and. This opportunity with being a featured artist at 108 and um, wanting to kind of add to this fish market series which is a project that explores food and nostalgia. I decided to work on anchovies because they're so important to Vietnam. They're part of um, this fish sauce called Nuc Mam and it's just a big staple in all Vietnamese cuisine. And so this opportunity to put it on paper and have it be on this fish market is really exciting but to take it further I really responded to the paper and rather than putting it on wood pieces like this I'm leaving it on the paper but playing with the paper itself and cutting it out intentionally to kind of add this dehydrated look and play with the paper in that way so it's still something sculptural about it even though it's still just working with a sheet of paper. I think what I love about art so much is experiencing art and some of the best installations have been brought on the, like the most intense experiences where it becomes really transformative and like you felt it in a different way not just oh that's beautiful painting and so much talent but it's deeper than that there's something maybe more conceptual about it um, or dynamic about it that gives you this extra experience and that's something I'm really drawn to just as I am drawn to that wondrous feeling of experiencing nature and just seeing how that can all connect. I would say spend less time in doubt because I spent a lot of time in doubt and that's a lot of 
productive time that could be used towards encouraging yourself rather than just, you know, having that back talk of, you know, you're not an artist or having that imposter syndrome. Um, but having a lot of time being stagnant because I didn't believe in myself when I can just be curious and try it and it doesn't have to be a big deal. And I, I still even have moments of it, of course. It's just a human response, but that encouragement has gotten better of like, try it, test it, see what happens. And then it's for me and not for anyone else. And that's okay.